Yo. You got the juice now, man. Okay, so I'm gonna get right into it, guys, okay? So, um, number one, I get my computer, I get my motherboard disk out of the motherboard box, I go to hit my eject button on my CD tray, and there is no lights, no power, no nothing, okay? They did not hook up my optical drive. So then I um, call them and they just say, oh, we probably just didn't hook it up. Mm. So also, another thing that wasn't plugged in was the CPU cooler? Uh, there's a little, um, there's a little um, two prong thing that plugs into the motherboard. For some reason, that wasn't plugged in. Uh, I tried to look it up myself, but I couldn't figure it out because uh, there's so many, so much information online to what goes where on different motherboards. So I actually called Cyber Power, and they had explained for some reason or other it might have been unplugged. <clears throat> when everything else is plugged in except for this one thing so I didn't want to turn the computer on yet I wanted to get more information first so I plug that in so two things not plugged in <clears throat> so then we get to the third thing that's not plugged in so I'm using the computer for a week I'm loving it blah 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 thinking about overclocking my graphics card and I look in the top left hand corner of my motherboard and I'm seeing the eight, eight pin power connector and I look above it and the four pin power connector is not plugged in. So I'm hearing all these reviewers online saying that in order to overclock the CPU and your graphics card, you're gonna want both of those plugged in. And, and Linus Tech Tip says for stability, you want both plugged in. So I'm thinking for stability, I just bought this computer, why wouldn't I want stability? I mean, that sounds ridiculous, right? I mean, I don't, I mean I'm not 100% sure here, but um, I just don't understand what's so difficult about plugging a four pin wire into the, into the power supply. It has two plugs that are for the CPU. It's a common thing. So I had to go in, take the cover off the power supply, um, nearly, nearly unplug things from my motherboard, um, figure this out, plug it in, and it really is a pain in the butt. But I did plug it in because if I'm going to be overclocking anything, I have to plug it in. So, <clears throat> it's just a little crazy. I don't understand why they wouldn't plug that in. And last and finally, guys, is the USB port. I actually did an unboxing video for this USB port. I'm going to leave it right up there. I actually had to use this USB port because I paid for them to install a USB port, but they decided to use a USB 2.0 port. Not only is it a USB 2.0 port, but it actually doesn't even read my cards. I've um, The first time I put my SD card in it, it did read it. It was going very slow. Then I realized it was a 2.0. Then the second day I went to use it again and it erased my card. Um, then after I bought the new one, I went to go test it again for my video and it actually totally erased my card again. Uh, so the, the thing just doesn't work. It, it's just pretty much junk. So uh, that was the final blow there. But, uh, I mean, they don't have any information on the site for when you build the computer. It just says uh, SD card reader. It says 12-in-1 SD card reader. So there needs to be more information online. It should say USB 2.0 SD card reader. Uh, when you go to details, it doesn't say anything. So I just figured if I'm building a brand new computer on this website, um, it, it must be a USB 3.0, right? Because uh, why would they give me a USB 2.0? But... I was wrong. <laughs> it just seems like they do the bare minimum there. They don't check their work and they just send it out the door. And I think that's what you get when you buy from a discount place. Um, I mean, I, I got a lot of discounts when I ordered the computer and I was looking to save money. I really didn't have the money to buy this beautiful workstation computer that I wanted and I needed for to render these 4K videos and to learn how to do all this stuff that I'm interested in. I needed it, but I didn't have all the money that I needed to get it. So I had to cut some corners, and apparently they cut some corners too. <clears throat> so those are some issues that I ran into there. Um, let's see, was there anything else really? 
uh, blah, 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 blah. And I think that's, I think that's about it. Now, these are all some little small things that I figured out myself. But if you're uh, less technically inclined than I am, and some of this happens to you, um, you know, you might be like, holy crap, my CD drive doesn't work, you know, uh, my SSD is not plugged in, you know, my, my cooling solution is not working, you know, my, your CPU could have overheated when you turned it on, the computer, who knows what could have happened when they don't plug stuff in. And, you know, they might go and blame you, you know, you just don't know. So these are some things that do concern me, but they don't concern me enough that I wouldn't buy a computer from them uh, in the future. I do think the computer looks great, and I will uh, cycle through some videos here, and I'll point out some of the components to you, and you can take a look, and you can judge for yourself. <music> you guys aren't familiar uh, with computers here this is my graphics card right here and uh, this is my RAM slots right here you got one two three four RAM slots and that is Trident Z RGB RAM those light up different colors it's really cool and this is my CPU cooler right here that's a water cooler it's a closed system, so you don't have to worry about it leaking or anything. Uh, but that's the CPU cooler right there. It's a closed loop system, meaning you don't have to worry about leaking or anything like that. And those are RGB fans. Uh, those lights can be changed and everything too. Really cool. And um, actually, all of my hard drives are actually in the motherboard. They're actually super fast NVMe SSDs. There's actually one under the graphics card, so you can't see any of my hard drives. They're about the size of a stick of gum. They're really awesome. And that's about really all you can see. Uh, now, I'll remind you that you can follow me at social media at Pizzles Tech Time. And I'll be putting out videos on a weekly basis here, uh, sometimes more than weekly. Uh, whenever I get them done, I put them out. And, um, you know, I'll be putting out a lot more videos now. My channel's growing very fast. Uh, so I'd appreciate if you subscribed. I'd appreciate if you followed me. And uh, that's about it, guys. So you make the judgment call on yourself uh, if, if you'd buy a computer from them or not. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. And I'll holler at y'all later, guys. All right?